get a nice custom picture of yourself or someone you like. Oh. Hopefully someone you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do you think? Thank you. All right. I think there's different levels of finalization <laughs> from what I see, but I think they're all good enough. I mean, better than I could do, for sure. Oh okay, I think we're going to start from your own making and we'll reveal one at a time. And you can tell us all what you've drawn and, and why. Uh... <laughs> so, Lucian, we'll start with your. Oh, yeah, it's... it's... I, know, I know who that is. Yeah, I, I don't want you all to be like... Too uh, uh, impressed, you know, with the, the amount of detail. Um, but I, I drew. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> obviously, it's obviously, it's obvious. You can tell. Yeah. Uh, it's the um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's so you know clear. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, as far as it's a little bit of a cheat because yeah, I kind of include waiver velvet in the equation as well. So just as far as the character I've played through the most iterations and over the years, uh, I think we go to waver slash Elmoloy. Can I ask what that hand was with a hand? Oh, uh, well, obviously that's, that's his little spill book. Nobody yeah. likes Clearly. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's obvious. It's a pocket size spell book. Yeah, yeah. That's convenient. Yeah, but the, the diagram, I mean, come on. It's so easy, right? <laughs> I drew it so clearly. <laughs> Amazing. Beautiful. I hope that now, basically, I secretly wanted to give you brain worms so that every time you have to do this voice, you're going to picture this iteration of them. They're, if they have enough class, that I think it's practically canon. <laughs> Amazing. Erica. Uh, I realized I had colors and that was really exciting. Um, so I drew someone who this show was literally 148 episodes, so and I was the lead character. Um, Woo! Woo! Don't be so I went to art school. And it's not very good for someone who paid thousands of dollars to the same person. <laughs> But yeah, I think it's great. It's so lovely. Thank you. Um, Maybe. Uh, <laughs> you go. Looks great. Okay, here's mine. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Sorry, pound for pound, probably Futaba. Um, which I think it's pretty obvious. <laughs> I did a great job. Um, I didn't go to art school. Um, I went to theater school. So there you go. Yeah, in art school. Uh, I, 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 <laughs> I have to talk to my director a lot, Erica, because when, when they told me what I was going to say to characters like Gome, I wondered if maybe something had been lost in translation the first few episodes. <laughs> and I said on no less than three occasions, I don't think we should say that. <laughs> I don't think that's going to be okay. Uh, but, but Hisuka was a uh, obviously a delight to play and to get to know over the course of, I don't know, a hundred and something. That worked out well. Uh, and uh, also got me a new type of voice playing because I've been doing a lot of gruff and, you know, Jen and all these things from Dragon Ball which hurt sometimes. <laughs> and being up here, they pay you the same. <laughs> <laughs> So, hi! <laughs> Before I jump into the next thing, I for me. I just want to time check because it's bad for to bring a walk or a phone, but now I don't know where I am. 134. Amazing! <laughs> it's been. <laughs> Let's get some cannon calling up in here. Okay, Nathan, over to you. Let's start talking more. And I mean, you have these whiteboards with no erasers, but uh, feel free to utilize them if you, if you want to, or doodle, or. Whatever, they're there now. Right. I'm trying to think what horrible things we could do with these whiteboards. But let's just go to a question. If you decide, I, I have a good idea actually, okay. Let's say if you would rather answer the question but with an artistic interpretation <laughs> on your whiteboard, which considering these questions is going to be quite abstract, <laughs> feel free to. Um, but yeah, so today we're going to talk a lot about the state of the industry, things that have been changing, things you guys have seen. Um, and let's talk about one of the big ones first that, you know, we're just getting over now, uh, and that is COVID. COVID had a big impact on the industry, you know, conventions, for example, weren't happening. Um, what type of things do you see in your, in your different um, businesses that really changed? Open to the floor. Well, I, I mean, 
meaning a couple of things. One, I was finally able to work with studios that until then you had to be in the studio, right? So uh, I finally got to work with Funimation because my gosh, it's a big thing to go all the way to Texas to you know to do those episodes. So that was amazing. Uh, as well, it, it uh, was the only artistic expression that was just open for business all through COVID. So that was empowering. It allowed me to focus less on all the things I was doing in the live sector and the TV and film sector and do it with my kids and do games and apps and projects as a family. And it was, uh, again, so amazing that the remote work became that normalized that we could just do that much more. Yeah, it was a little bit of a struggle at first because a lot of studios were obviously trying to figure out like how to get things to work. So um, I actually, I, I do a little bit of directing here and there and I was uh, directing an anime and just all the technical I know I'll never be the same Shook my world so hard again Wish I washed away my sins He's a dead man walking Blank staring Should have been surprised when they shot him down Cold blood to the ground 